Hey everyone, I'm back here bringing you some more Dust 514, day number four. And as the uh, days go by, I am learning more and more stuff there. And that little first move was the panic shot. That is, if I don't see a color, I'm going to assume you're an enemy. And if not, my bad. Uh, but, anyways. that going here I have learned a few things uh the guy in the snatch lobby put uh he's like join my squad so I ended up doing his squad here and uh, he's the guy with a little circle around uh, his little mini map thing or my mini map thing I should say and so this is my like, second game with him he didn't have a mic or anything so nothing special going on there or anything but it turns out he's a good player um but yeah so that's why that happens and it turns out if you're in a squad you get more uh war points so uh i guess i need to be in a squad more but uh besides that i'm still running the assault with the uh with the assault rifle and everything i got the nano hives and I think I think that was in my last video. But uh after this game I did a few things, but I'll save that for my next video, which I'll be doing tomorrow, I believe. because uh, that one's got some good stuff to tell you. I mean, have good stuff to tell you about that. I'm definitely learning more. Uh yeah. Uh played this map, the one I'm playing a lot tonight. And uh, I think I played this like four or five times. But, uh, so yeah. Uh, I'm enjoying the game. Just, I'm playing it, you know, two or three hours a night, a uh, day, night, whatever. I usually play it around nighttime for some reason. I've got my other games that I gotta play as well, I guess. But, uh, yeah, uh, this game, uh, we actually kind of work as a squad, kind of hanging around each other. I, I did my best to support them here. I'm like, all right, guys, you need ammo right there. Have some. Give me some war points, some easy war points and whatnot. And I try to cover this guy's point here. So he, he might be in a little bit of trouble there. So I stick a few bolts into that guy for him. Um. So yeah, it, it's hard not playing with the mic. Definitely do. Uh, you can really tell the difference when you do play with someone with a mic and when you play with someone that doesn't have a mic or who can't hear you, especially when you're calling out stuff. Because like, I got into a game later on where like, someone was got a mic and it's just it's a lot easier. A lot easier, a lot more fun, that's for sure, than playing by yourself and playing with someone with a mic. Uh, but that's just pretty much common sense. I don't think you need to watch my video to learn that. But, uh, putting together I think it's a pretty decent game here. In, in any game that I go above 1KD, I consider a good game. Uh, so yeah. Where do we spawn? Oh, uh, looks like we got a fourth member to our squad. I still suck at throwing grenades in this game. I always seem to underthrow them. Uh, no big deal, I guess. Uh, as I've played more, I definitely have uh, learned to watch the flanks and whatnot because that is killer. Like, I had a game tonight where I literally came up on like, three or four snipers just sitting there. And you flank them, and it's easy pickings. That, uh, that that little flanking move saved my uh, game. That that game, which was nice. I like easy kills. I like easy points, which I get there with the easy fly. Uh, that's another thing I want to talk about: is medics who don't revive me. Like sometimes when I go down, it's like, hold on, man triage unit next to you and then you call out for help 
and then nothing happens. Like, why are you... Why do you have... I think they're nanites. I think that's what they are. If you're not gonna use them, it's kind of important. And, uh, so, you know. We got nanites using. Like, I have my, uh, my ammo replenish thingies, nano hives. And I use them. I make sure I use, I make sure I use them as much as I can. Just want to help out. I'm like, you want to win. If you don't want to win, I'm like, like, why are we playing? Because, I mean, that's what equipment is for. It's like, help your teammates out. So they can do better. So, I don't know. And I guess I hop into a tank for the rest of the game. I don't really do much here. It's nice to spend uh, time, you know, some time in a tank. Just because it's a little bit different. Yeah, I can't aim it. <laughs> you guys can tell me how much I suck in the tank. That's why you don't see me in the tank that often. I forget their official name. Uh, you can read it there, I'm sure, because the other guy was probably killing people. Eventually. I get like a kill assist, I think, for my like two minutes in the tank or a minute and a half, whatever. Uh, so yeah, I basically so in the tank. So I'm pretty good with the assault rifle, as long as I don't get shot up by another tank that would really be a cool kill assist. Yeah, uh, I don't have any vehicles outfitted or anything like that. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe I'll eventually join a squad or something. Oh, I got another kill system. Oh, good stuff. I don't know what happened. Uh, yeah, I hate Just trying to blow up the tank. Didn't realize they were hacking it. My bad. It just made me feel good that I was hitting someone, right? You know? You gotta do whatever you can. But uh, I guess that's the game right there. We win. So, woohoo! Uh, you can see the guy that I was squatting with gets the top score, I believe. He was like 11 and 1 or something like that. I don't remember. But, uh, yeah. Just bringing you a nice little update to my Dust 514 adventure. Uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna put up some more like I said hopefully another one tomorrow which uh I have many updates see yeah, I can see we go one two look at that I yeah he he does awesome I do sort of awesome I guess I don't know but anyways I uh, really appreciate you all watching so then so you all have a nice day yeah